it snowed here last night. And unless it gets really, really warm, which I doubt is going to happen here in northern Minnesota, I do believe that my Christian neighbors are going to get their white Christmas. You know, I find it really ironic that the best-selling Christmas song of all time, in fact, the best-selling song, period, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, is White Christmas. And it was written by a Jew, Irving Berlin. Which brings me to the topic of my video today. There is no war on Christmas. This is something that was invented by politicians for whatever reason, maybe to divide us against each other at a time of year when we really should be coming together in unity and peace. When somebody says happy holidays, that doesn't mean they're negating Christmas. It means that they're recognizing all of the other winter solstice holidays that people celebrate at this time of year. Of course, each of these holidays has its own history, its own theology, its own way of being celebrated. I'm not meaning to imply they're all exactly the same. I mean, one could point out that Hanukkah really is not a solstice festival. I mean, Hanukkah is on a lunar calendar, and it doesn't always fall by the solstice. This year, it's very early. It's on November 29th. However, on the lunar calendar, Hanukkah always comes at the dark of the moon, the 25th of Kislev, and then it gets further and darker and darker. We light the candles as we move into the dark, and then you get to Rosh Kodesh, the new moon, and it begins to get lighter. And by the time you've lit the whole menorah, indeed, the moon is much brighter. And so although it's a lunar festival rather than a solar one, it does still have the theme of the return of the light, of rekindling the lamp in the temple and the fire in the temple and rekindling the fire of the love of God in our hearts. According to an old legend, after Adam and Eve left the garden and began to experience the cycle of the seasons, as the days got shorter and shorter and shorter, they began to fear that the sun would go away forever and they would live in eternal darkness. And so they lit huge bonfires to signal to the sun to please come back. And it worked. The days got longer. Of course, you may consider this a silly story, but it does illustrate how ancient the idea is of lighting fires and lights at the time of the winter solstice. So you have Hanukkah, which is the festival of lights, Kwanzaa, which is an African-American holiday where they light candles uh, starting on the 26th of December. You have the Yule log, which used to be a pagan celebration in Northern Europe, but nowadays you can turn on certain channels and have a 24 hour fireplace burning on the screen of your TV <laughs> to represent the Yule log. And you have Christmas, of course, celebrates by putting up lights all over the place. Down in Louisiana, they light bonfires on the levees on Christmas Eve. My point of all this is that I believe we should be celebrating the light, the light of God, the light of love, the light of joy, in whatever way our own traditions tell us to do that. I'm going to end with a poem that I wrote in the 1960s about this exact question. I called it, Winter Has Come. 
Winter has come, and the children of Israel kindle the flame of the Hanukkah candles. Winter has come, and the children of Jesus are trimming the fir trees with tinsel and lights. Winter has come, and the children of nature are greeting the snowfall and watching the stars. And the flame of my candles, the light of your fir tree, the glow of your campfire, are praising the flame and the power of life. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you.